hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today is gonna be a little bit different video and it's a very special video as I'm gonna do a DIY and second and there's gonna be a giveaway that's gonna start from today to the uh, the end of this week so just keep watching the video till the end and I'm gonna give you all the details Okay guys, so the first DIY what we're gonna try and I'm, I'm gonna do a little disclaimer here that I did this uh, uh, DIY first time on the camera only. I didn't even try it before so it'll, it is little bit, it was a little bit tricky for me but anyhow, okay I'm just gonna tell you what we need. So we need this board, MDF board I'm using otherwise if you don't have this you can just uh, use this uh, canvas panel, some acrylics and I use this uh, uh, water brushes and uh, glue and most importantly you need to have a modeling clay if you don't have one it's better to use the one which comes from fabric grill that is called as I guess um, Kalakar um, clay something like that I'll put a link below for you all some mirrors I didn't find any round ones so I just chose this uh, square mirrors that I found it's you know during this COVID-19 pandemic you can't go out and on it very much frustrated about it because I needed so many things for this particular DIY and I ended up having very little so but I managed somehow so especially with the modeling clay I didn't like this one that I used so if you guys have a better quality please please choose that because mine in the end when it got dried it shrunk somehow and and my lines are not that clean so I'm, I'm, I'm not that happy with this one so but you can do much better than me okay guys so just paint all around wherever you want to uh, whatever colors you want to choose just make sure you choose some bold vivid colors because they will come they will look much more prettier don't choose very light color light shades of color they need to be very bold uh, colors on the background so I'm just gonna paint it all around like that okay so now what we need to do is uh, on the side uh, as I as we colored that just keep that MDF board aside I'm just gonna take some uh, this modeling clay and I'm gonna make some you know fine nice uh, strings like this so my modeling clay was so Bad. I don't know how I managed to finish the whole project I ended up uh, doing this so many of so much of the clay I wasted in making these strings I, so I was so much frustrated I was about to throw this whole project away but then I thought no I need to finish this anyhow because um, you need to try something for the first time and it's not always gonna be the best but at least you know you you tried that's what matters so and if you guys will uh, you know do this DIY please do make sure to you know share your images with me on my Instagram I do love to share your artwork on my stories and um, I know you'll do much better job than me I'm not so happy with this project but still I posted here I know some of you are gonna um, diss me for this but um, whatever <laughs> okay so after so many tries I just noticed something when I was doing this with my fingers it was breaking and see how much mess I made so just try to do it with your palms end of your palms just keep rolling it with your palms and then you'll get a nice uh, string a thin string so as you can see I did cover all that space but when it dried out it shrunk and the end result when you'll see my image it's it just it is shrunk and there's a lot of spaces in between so they are looking so bad and I'm so frustrated but okay guys I'm just crying now it's okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm painting this uh, the um, clay with some white acrylic so that it will look white because my 
uh, marbling clay was not white it was little bit uh, you know grayish in color so that's why I hope you use a better one so I'm gonna paste some uh, beads here and there as well so just let's move on to the second one because I was I'm little upset with the first one okay sorry guys for that that was a huge fail for me okay so what we need here is I'm using this little um, like a, it's a porcelain dish small dish I'm not using the whole um, plate so first thing first see I'm using all the acrylics so make sure this painting that you're gonna do on a plate don't use this for your eating you know as a eating utensil it is just for show it is just to hang on the wall okay just don't paint it in later words don't start eating with this okay because I'm not gonna be responsible if something uh, happens because see acrylics uh, on this plate they won't last much long it will keep uh, rubbing it with the water and all because usually they are it's not done with the acrylics mainly if you want to eat uh, your painted plate that is there is a specific specific color for that that is called as the porcelain color so we I, they are not I don't have those so I'm using this acrylics only I'm gonna hang them on my wall and just like a mm, canvas okay so this is that's why I called it a DIY painting uh, plate okay so just choose whatever colors you want you want to make a mandala here that's on you I, I thought I'm gonna make some kind of a flower or like a sunflower so that's why I'm just experimenting with the colors in between if you want to make a mandala I know that will look much much better than this one just do try it and please share your pics with me on the Instagram so when the acrylics are dried out you can easily draw on top of this with the pencil whatever shapes you want to do you can do that with a pencil and then take your paint marker and do the finishing like this you guys so i'm finished coloring both the plates so now i want to just make it little bit you know permanent won't be permanent I know that but still I just want to give it a little shine and want to seal the acrylics so I'm using this uh, normal uh, varnish that we use on canvases for acrylics and oil paintings I'm gonna use that and see how much shine there it's giving now and it is it, it's gonna seal the acrylics on the plate so please don't eat from these plates they are just for hanging and they are just an art piece okay please please don't eat it okay guys so uh, we are done with the DIYs now okay guys as you can see I'm very much close to reaching 100k very soon but because of all the love and support you guys are giving me constantly and I want to to thank you all for that so I wanted uh, this giveaway to be at when I reach 100k but I couldn't stop myself and I'm, I'm way too excited for this so that's why I'm doing it early little bit early that is uh, on 97k I'm, I'm doing this giveaway so guys um, so I'm gonna tell you everything what you're gonna need to enter the giveaway and what other things you're gonna get so there will be one winner and this is only open for Indian uh, followers and subscribers so so first thing first I know you all want to know what I what are the prizes so you're gonna get five things and the art supplies and I love them all the first one is the Brewster Filiner set and they're awesome the sharpie metallic paint markers and the moonlight jelly roll pen set and uh, mm, I love this uh, Brewstro artist watercolor uh, sheets and Faber Castle watercolors they're all very amazing the very first rule of the whole thing is to you need to be a subscriber of mine and you need to follow me on Instagram as well but uh, see there are some rules that you need to follow first of all in, I can't do international shipping because of this pandemic situation otherwise I'm sure 
you guys can understand that's why I have opened this only for Indian subscribers so what you need to do to uh, earn these prizes or to win this prize you need to go in the main description below of this video there's a link um, right on top and you will click the link and that will take you to gleam.com and there are multiple uh, you know steps that you need to do first to enter yourself into the giveaway you can do multiple entries and you can increase your chances of getting the giveaway by this and the giveaway ends on june 2nd so you have like 10 days to enter so by that time um, uh, i wish you'll do multiple entries and you'll increase your chances of getting the giveaway so i wish you good luck guys do share this with your friends if they want to enter my giveaway um, I don't know who's gonna be the lucky winner but the app will uh, choose a lucky winner randomly so it's gonna be totally fair um, so I just wanted to keep it fair I don't want to make you um, you know think that maybe I'll give it to somebody who's my relative or my friend I'm not gonna do that everything the app will choose the lucky winner through all the subscribers of mine okay guys so good luck see you next week and i'll announce the winner and i'll get in touch with the winner for the address and everything so that i can dispatch the uh, goodies to him Bye bye